Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the Next Gen press conference here in London. I'm joined by the returning, been out for nearly five years. <laughs> John Edges. No, it's been about 10 months, isn't it? 10 months, yeah. Last fight, Joshua Franklin undercard. So, yeah, it's been a while, Coog. I'm back, though. I'm back, ready for it. New hand, two hands this time. And, yeah, big performance pending. Explain to me, or summarise, in the last 10 months, I'm assuming that was a frustrating period. You haven't had that many fights. You're still kind of on that learning stage. So to have 10 months out isn't ideal, but you are back. But sum that last 10 months up for me. Listen, last 10 months been, as, as you can imagine, a bit frustrating. And look, at the end of the day, I had to use it as a growth period. Still only 21, um, 8 and 0. I'm in a good position for me age, you know what I mean? So just had to use the 10 months, 10 months really, just to grow, grow as a person, put the weight on in the right places, build muscle. And uh, yeah, it's, it's probably ain't done, it's done me the world of good. In the long run, it's where I needed to be. It's just uh, let me body catch up with myself. And now it's all about all gas, no breaks, you know what I mean? Are you only 21 still? I'm still a baby, cool, you know what I mean? Still have to get my idea up. Around the Christmas period, obviously not in camp, why were you in an over 25s place then? I saw you in. Well, Coogan, I thought that was a. <laughs> that's, now, that's a funny question. <laughs> Do not tell the security. <laughs> no, they're my mates anyway. Anyway, it is over 21s in there, which really questions why I was in there, to be honest. I, I was going to put it back on you, but I didn't want to let you see it out, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, listen. Those months are behind you now, so but 2024 really now is picking up on where you left off and bettering your performance, getting rounds in, getting wins, and then edging towards some sort of title shot. I'm assuming that's the plan this year. Yeah, I've got a good opponent this time, 25 on 20, very experienced, got a good, great winning record, good KO puncher and all, he's had a good couple of KOs. Um, get him out of the way on Saturday night and then we look for titles. So, yeah, listen, it's all about Saturday first, though. I've got, like I say, a good opponent. It's a good step up, even if I didn't have a break. So to come back first fight with him, it's, it's even better. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm no weight expert, but I'm looking at you now thinking you're probably a little bit heavier than light heavyweight at the minute. Yeah, definitely. The light heavy days are gone. Um, I'm boxing. At, I'm going to campaign at Cruiser now. Do you know what? 79.2 kg for, for me at 6'6 six, six is... Cool. Could you make 79 kilo? I don't that, think I'd make bridge weight or heavy weight at the minute. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a no-go. So, yeah, cruiserweight's now the new division and, yeah, we're going to start building in there. Domestically um, and on the world front, because I know you've got kind of, at some point in your career, you'll have world-level world aspirations, but domestically, those weight categories are very difficult. They seem more difficult now than they have been for quite a few years. Light heavyweight or cruiserweight, like, it's... The divisions are getting stacked. The big divisions, listen, and, and that's what I'm not. I'm in, I'm in full doubt of them, sort of thing. I know what, exactly what the division offers, and to be fair, it's an exciting division to be amongst. There's some great fights to be made, and domestically, Britain's ruling the cruiserweight division. Other than Oppertai, we've got some big names in there. So, um, like like you say, Billum Smiths and people react poor, and they're all. It's a great mixture of fighters. So, listen, to be in a mix with them boys, you're doing well anyway. So, there's some big fights to be made. Hedges Oppertai, 2025. What do you reckon? Okay, put me on a Saudi now, a Saudi money, I'll fight over Titan next, no problem. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baby you know steps. But Oppertai, I mean, look, we've seen particularly, obviously, after that, he's going to rematch him, but the Breeders fight since then, he's looked sensational. I think he, uh, even more so now, I think Oppertai will cruise through Breeders. Still, Breeders obviously brings these threats, very tough man, and, and still technically a great fighter, but I think. Oppertai's activeness is going to play a massive part and what a great fight. Look at that last KO to Zorro, just speaks his level, doesn't it? How far do you think you're away from mixing it with the likes of your React Paws, your, your Billum Smiths, who obviously they're rumoured to be fighting, not rumoured, they are going to be fighting at some point this year. But how far are you away from that? Do you reckon you're a couple of years away from that, 18 months away from that? What do you reckon? World level. If you're looking world, I'm saying I'll be happy to be there by 25. I'm 22 this year. Um, give myself three years, let me develop properly, get plenty of fights in, be, be European level 23, 24, and then world level 25 would be lovely, wouldn't it? But listen, it all depends how my path plays out. Um, British looks nicer to me within the next 24 months. That's more realistic, do you know what I mean? Yep, that makes complete sense. Um, sum up for me in five words what you're going to do to your opponent this week. No more than five words. Oh, fuck it. That's two already. Um, flashy skillful crisp 
powerful knockout. That was good, that one. Like it. I like it. I see the brain ticking there. Okay. <laughs> didn't come in early with the knockout, did I? I come out late with it. If it comes, it comes. If it comes, it comes, exactly. We ain't got to find it, but it always helps, isn't it? Always helps. John, the gentleman Hedges, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Um, obviously, I won't be seeing you out socially for the next foreseeable future because. Uh, I'll be in grind mode to cook. Graph mode this year, 2024 is all about stacking, you know what I mean? That's what it's about. John Edges, thank you very much and uh, best of luck on the weekend. Cool, lovely. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.